while ago create the cannons had a bigger update which basically overhauled the cannon making process and as you can see it became a lot more complicated and today i'll be showing y'all how it actually works but a quick disclaimer first i am not going to show you how to move the cannons there's gonna be a new video tomorrow but I will be showing you the entire process in a bit of a longer form video. Today's one is kind of just a quick guide on how to actually do it. So firstly, we need to cast out the cannon with this machine, which is basically a pump tank, which I'm going to be using a creative tank and just the gears to power it. And for fluids, you can use molten iron, molten bronze, molten steel or molten nether steel. I'm going to be using the for this one because I, I like the steel ones. Now these are all your molds. These are your basic cannon molds, starting from the very small one to the very large one. And these are the auto cannon ones, which of course you only have one barrel, one recoil spring and one breach. And also you have the different cannons, the normal one, the screw one, and the sliding bridge one. And also we have the casting sand. So if you want to cast this one out, first we need to make a 3x3. Three three. But before you fill in the middle, you have to put down your desired cast, which I'm going to put down the end cast first. And then you need to right-click this with another sand lock. And then put out everything in your hand. And that is the first cast being done. And after you have filled this up, all you need to do is get off here and just open up your tank. It starts inputting the steel on it. You can see that it's all filled up with steel. This will take a bit until it solidifies, but after that you can just right click it and it's going to be done and you can move it out of here. Until it's done, let me show you the next step. After we are done casting the cannons, we need to put them in a lathe and drill them, which will require a couple of things. First of all, you need the cannon drill, a couple of extension poles, this is the actual cannon drill and just, you just use piston extension poles. But this in itself won't be enough. You will also need a tank full of water, which you need to pump the water from inside of the tank into this cannon drill. But this, that is still not enough because of course you need a lead to spin this with. So, if I just go into this chest, I have three onboard very small steel cannon parts, which are the things that we are making right here, which are still not done by the way. So you need to place these down on the lead. And you don't need to glue this or anything, you just start up the lathe and it should work. And it does work. And now it's spinning. But you have to pay attention to something that's really important. First of all, you need to check how fast your lathe is spinning, which of course in creative I can just use these creative engines and see that it is spinning at the speed of 32. But you are going to need a speedometer because you are not going to know how fast your things are spinning. Except if you use the same network I guess. Or maybe a speed controller. Anyways. But this needs to spin at the same speed of the actual drill. And if both of them are spinning at the same speed, then what you can do is you can actually start drilling. Which will make this annoying noise. And also, whenever it gets through one of these layers, it should happen in just a second, it will drop scraps. So now this one is a steel cannon, so it's going to drop steel scraps, which you can reuse for some more molten steel which you can of course just use to make some more cannon bits cannon parts and whenever it's done you can just retract the drill don't forget to do this part otherwise you're going to break your pistons and then stop the lathe and you can see that it has been bored now then you need to move this over to another machine and as i was saying you cannot just mine these you have to actually have a crane or anything like that to move these otherwise you're going to break them into steel scrap you need to move this over to a new machine which is the presser if you want to have a multi-layer cannon let's say that i want to have a small steel cannon layer instead of a normal very small one so what i need to do here is i need to place my small my very small ones actually and then after you have placed down your very small ones you need to place down your small ones in front of the very small ones. And now we're going to use this cannon builder, which is a pretty simple thing. You need to pulse it to trigger it, and then you need to just push it. As you can see, it pushed the two layers together. You don't need to have anything at the end, it just pushes the two layers together. After you're done with the pushing, you need to deactivate it with another pulse, and then you can retract it. And the next part cannot even be done with creative. You actually need to move the cannons into a firing basin, a smelting thing, which of course, these are not blocks technically, so I can't just pick these up. So you need to lift them up. I that was a noise. And I'm going to push this one into the place. Retract it. And it's still not being fired. Well, maybe the first block is. Because we need to push it down. 
and I lift it up and now it is being fired. Oh and by the way if you want to make sure that your cannon is being fired you can see that it is outputting particles when it's hitting the cannon as in the black particles. Oh and it's just it is done. The way that you know that it's done is that you cannot actually see through them. And now you can just lift this one out with another crane and you can just move it into your cannon, put the cannon and on it because of course Every cannon needs a cannon. It can be any of the variations, including the normal one, the screw breach one, and the sliding breach one. Although the sliding breach one does need side drilling as far as I know. But this is how you make a basic normal cannon without anything special. Now, as I was saying, once again, tomorrow I'll be showcasing how to make a cannon in a factory which is optimized for making cannons properly. And until then, I'll be working on the actual crane to do that. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow.